safety of people in motion. There goes Lewis McDonald. Miller looking left. Can't throw, and now he's going to be sacked at the 35. Victor Burnett does the honors. Victor Burnett, who was about to celebrate his 23rd birthday on November the 5th, has a surprise for quarterback Jim Miller. Jimmy's a great quarterback, uh, but I have to fault him on this one. He had plenty of time there, but he could not find a receiver open there and just held the ball too long, and finally Victor Burnett go, was able man. to get in and sack. Lance Smith to punt. And it's gathered in by Stephen Baker at the 35. 50, Baker may go all the way. Baker is finally pulled down from behind, and it was the punter, Lance Smith, who had to make the tackle. Smith makes the tackle at the 25-yard line of New Mexico State. A 39-yard punt and a 48-yard return by the speedy Stephen Baker. Plays wide receiver on offense, and he's a great receiver, but he's also a great punt return man, averaging about 20 yards per punt return, as a matter of fact, and almost breaks this one. 48-yard punt return by Stephen Baker. First and goal to go. Touchdown, James Williams. But we haven't received the signal yet. Looked like he was in there. Now we get it. A delayed signal by the officials. Touch Williams from two yards away. Love those kind of touchdowns, Mike, because uh, really what happened, it wasn't the running by Williams. Me at 48, I could have scored there. Good offensive surge there by the Fresno State offensive line. They just pushed all the red shirts back into the end zone. Down Langenfeld, Rowley, wide right. The pass is maybe intercepted. It looks like it. It looks like Vic Burnett came up with that ball. Yes, indeed. Peterson putting it. Uh, might have deflected that pass. The Bulldogs have it. George Peterson, the linebacker, was right in the face of uh, Jim Miller. And Victor Burnett comes up with the ball. And it was deflected. Burnett did come up with it. Here's a look at it again. There's the pressure, number 45 is the guy in the area. That would be Grayson. He got his hands on it, and Burnett comes up with the interception. Another look at it, Grayson coming in there. He's been an injured linebacker, but he's healthy and back in the lineup. New Mexico State team. Back to punt, Mike Mancini gets away a beauty. That'll carry McDonald back to the 27. Lewis McDonald straight up field, fumbles the ball. Mason looks like he got there first to make the recovery for Fresno State. Mike Tarr was there, too. Let's see who comes up with the ball. There's 41, Kevin Mason. Okay, let's take a look at it again. That's Webster there on the return, and there's the lick, and Webster loses the handle. McDonald on McDonald. the return. Okay, yeah, I've got the wrong name. Mike Tarr made the hit, and Mason made the recovery, trying to make the most of it. Williams hasn't been been running well of late, but is today. Here comes Kelly Skipper, all the way out of bounds at the 31 of New Mexico State. It was Calvin Henry running him out of bounds. Block on the play. Kelly Skipper just came into the lineup. He gets good blocking off to that left side. Hits down toward the sideline. Last guy, number 20, the safety, Calvin Henry for New Mexico State, rides him out. But Barry Belli is going to be out there. He will try a field goal from the 45. His longest this year is 50. Uh, 47 this year, 50 in his career. This would be a school, Fresno State record. 45 yards away, a 55-yarder. It is good. Barry Belli, a 55-yard field goal. And Fresno State has the lead, 10-7 over New Mexico State. Leave it four out of ten. Here comes Kelly Skipper. Kelly Skipper breaks one tackle. Kelly Skipper down the sideline. He may go all the way now. Oh, Kelly yeah. Skipper, touchdown. A 44-yard scampering touchdown run by the mighty Mike Kelly Skipper. 5'6", 175 pounds. He's only a freshman. And what a runner he is. I think Jim Sweeney's got the idea here. He's going to run one of his running backs until they get tired, then put the other one in there. Right now, that other one is Kelly Skipper, who you're looking at, tight roping it down the right sidelines there. He's got a blocker out in front of him doing a good job on number 22, Ned. That's Gene Taylor. Taylor down there doing a good job of blocking, and uh, Skipper goes all the way. Thomas, Kelly Skipper, Anthony Mosley in his backfield for Kevin Sweeney. 
Sweeney on the long leg. Touchdown, Fresno State. Oh, Kevin Sweeney made it look easy. I loved it. We haven't seen a full house backfield all day. It looked like, uh, I mean, it was so sure that something was going to happen off to that right side. And evidently all the Aggies thought it too. Let's watch the full house backfield all moving to the right. There you see, who's the number 86 for the Aggies? That defense is Mike Ken Williams. Williams. He went right down the line, and Sweeney had it all to himself. Over two minutes left in this first half. 24-7, Fresno State. Sweeney fires this win, complete to Lavelle Thomas. Look at Thomas oh, with wow. the way. Nice second and third effort by the senior from Tulare, Lavelle Thomas. Bobby Kinder and George Ned finally got him down. Well, let's take a look at it again. Nice pass protection. This young man just doesn't want to go down. There's Ned is bouncing off of him. There, number 23, Lloyd Bradley bounces off. Good run. All of old stories about the 65 season. When Michigan State won the national head coach. It's a perfect pass to Thomas. And Thomas is out of bounds at the three-yard line. Dennis Owens running him out of bounds. First down, first and goal to go, Fresno State. And he's halfway through his junior year. Let's see if he can get number 45 here. He might run for it. Out of bounds, flipped out of bounds hard at the 13-yard line by DeAndre Collins. But did you notice he bounced right back up again? He was airborne. It, it, it uh, wasn't that hard a hit. Let's take a look at Sweeney there dropping back. He really doesn't want to throw this. You see he's still looking. Finally works to the sidelines there. Now he knows he has to go out. He's airborne already when DeAndre Collins hits him. So, much of a lick. We grab a broom and do a little cleaning up here. When we come back, we'll have a feature on the strength and conditioning program at Fresno State. Expertise. There is no uh, detrimental effect to their, to their body through weight training. Whereas before, many women thought that as a result of weight training, they would bring on some type of manly qualities. We have found through research and all circumstances of men and women that that does not happen. And the women uh, in the last few years have really blossomed in the area of weight training, which has enhanced their performance. Division I schools across the country are fast becoming aware of the need for a full-time conditioning coach. And Roberto Parker is pretty high on the toys here at FSU. For most schools have weight training and conditioning programs within their, within their complexes. Uh, however, they might um, appoint a football coach or a basketball coach or a baseball coach to work with uh, their particular athletes. Uh, whereas myself, I'm not affiliated with any particular one sport. I work with all sports. Fresno State's facilities, in comparison with other schools in the country, is one of the finest you're going to find. I have talked with uh, many professional uh, football scouts, and throughout their travels, they have said that Fresno State is one of the nicest facilities they have found. And as far as the West Coast, you'll find that this is probably the finest on the West Coast. And Roberto Parker sees more and more advances on down the road. You're going to find that, that more and more strength coaches are becoming more scientific in their approach, not just using uh, powerlifting techniques, which was at one time used by a lot of strength coaches. Um, in the future, I think that they're going to become more sophisticated and be required to have more knowledge of the, of, of the body. Weight training is another exercise. If any individual takes up the area of weight training with the proper amount of instruction, it will not be detrimental. You get, out of, you get out of it what you put into it. Uh, you can do it the right way or you can do it the wrong way. It's like anything else. Kevin Sweeney dumps it off to James Williams. Williams up the sidelines. Into the open. Williams is finally pulled down from behind by Calvin Henry, the free safety. Another step, and Williams would have been off for a long, long run. 
Look at the blocking up front for Fresno State setting up this play. Screen pass there. He's got a wall of blockers. Look at him turning in there. Screen it out, number 23, George Ned. That's not George Ned, that's Bradley. But Ford finally, Henry finally brings him down. The game that was. One point victory in the closing seconds. Miller on the roll. Intercepted by Tony Harris, the freshman defensive back. Harris dives to the 44 of New Mexico State. Tony Harris, a freshman from Fresno. Well, He's I remember to be the happiest guy alive right now. Take a look at it again. Jimmy Miller rolling out. Looks like he's got a little bit of time that time. Just a bad pass, one that he shouldn't have thrown. I guess I remember an old coach once say that if you put it up in the air often enough, something bad's going to happen. There's Miller there trying to get in to make the tackle. A 22-yard return by Tony Harris, the freshman from Washington Union High School. Kevin Sweeney's pass finds Chris Dugan again. Dugan at the 15. Dugan down close to the 10. Calvin Henry, the free safety, brought up with him and brought Chris Dugan, a junior from Cerritos, down at the 11. Good execution on that one, too. Dugan, who hasn't been playing an awful lot there, makes a fine reception, a big rangy target there, runs right through number 20, Calvin Henry, brought down, but fine passing play, Sweeney to Dugan. The full house backfield will be Lavell Thomas, Kelly Skipper, and Anthony Mosley. Touchdown, Fresno State. Kelly Skipper does it again. A second touchdown this afternoon for Kelly Skipper. Stanford, 20 to nothing. That game still in the way of the Coliseum. Miller rifles this one, and it is intercepted. Roar Kelly comes up with the intercept for Fresno State. Kelly had two interceptions last year, and this is his first one of 1985. Miller trying to get it to Hairston, his favorite target there, but you see it right in the hands of Kelly, number 25, loses his footing, goes to the turf. The Bulldogs do have the ball. 12.43 left in this fourth quarter. Rourke Kelly, 6'180 pounds. Second and goal at the two. The Bullhouse backfield. Lavelle Thomas, touchdown Fresno State. Lavelle Thomas gets the touchdown. Seems to be an automatic once they go to that full house backfield like that, but uh, they're getting good blocking up front because regardless of who's carrying the ball, that time it was Thomas, they don't get hit until they're in the end zone. 